morning. We are following breaking news out of Sacramento, a gruesome discovery by firefighters. And we want to warn you, the details are disturbing, involving another case of animal cruelty. Sean Bennett joins us live from Becerra Way with more on this investigation. Sean? Yeah, good morning, Marianne. And what we can tell you about this is Sac Metro Fire responded just after midnight to a rubbish fire, otherwise known as a trash fire, here on Becerra Way. And when they came here, they found a crate with a dog inside that was set on fire and burned alive. This is what's left over the plastic from the metal crate and the metal from the front of the crate where the dog was locked inside. Michelle Edom with Sac Metro Fire joining us now. For this, where do you go in trying to find a suspect working with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department? A couple of different angles. We're to look, there's businesses around here, see if anybody has surveillance cameras. Again, our arson investigators are working with the Sacramento Sheriff to find, did anybody see anything? We're asking the public for information. Does anybody, did you see a car? Did you hear anything? Anything that's got, do any of these houses have surveillance? So it'll be an investigation because, I mean, you, the, the situation is horrendous. We want to find out who did this and hold that person accountable. Has any neighbors so far come forward as to information. You had said earlier that they had heard noises uh, coming from this area, but has anybody said anything? Maybe they saw a car get away or anybody out here being loud and a per, uh, you know, a description of somebody? Actually, one just walked up to me right now while we were doing this interview or right before that. Um, there, people are, are getting the news that something went, something really bad went down here last night and that's spurring people to call and make the, that information. So we're going to look for more. We're asking for more. But someone just heard the news and walked up to tell me, hey, I've got some information. Hopefully we can get what we need. Thank you, Michelle, for joining us. And if anybody out there does have any information leading to who may have done this, you can call the Sacramento uh, t uh, Arson Tip Line with any kind of information that could at least give them a jump start in this investigation. Marianne, we'll send it back to you. Right, Sean Bennett there for us this morning. Sean, thanks. After delivering his state of